Well, if your child loves to get up close and personal with creature, creatures. I'm so nervous right now. It's okay. <laughs> do, we re do we read the rest? No, I got it. My palms are sweating. Look, they're obviously braver than I am if your kids are up for that. But, um... You go ahead. Yes, they are also very lucky because the cool summer night event has creatures like the ones we have here today available to see. Catherine Bartlett has brought a gopher snake and a tarantula, and I understand, Catherine, they're both females. Yes, they are. So, so and yeah, so it's an all girls show. It's an all girls show. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Come closer over here, yeah, honey. Really. Come closer with me. I promise uh, this can't hurt you. It's a non venomous snake. They're really great to have in the environment. Um, so, we really like having gopher snakes around because they help clean up rodents that cause problems. And, and the snake's name is Eve, yes, right? Yes, this is Eve. It's one of our larger um, gopher snakes, in fact. And so this is kind of uh, one of the reasons we have the creatures out for events like this is so mm -hmm. people do know that this is Eve, the gopher snake that's yeah. not going to hurt anybody, but has benefits for us. Absolutely. So this coming Saturday night at the Desert Museum, it's Creatures of the Night. So we're really focusing on things that come out after dark. And right now, that's the snakes. So you get to go meet some, have an educational experience. It's fun for kids. It's fun for a date night. And you get to get live um, up close with live animals and take some great shots, too. I'm going to go over here. here. <laughs> oh, 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 I hold, I'll no, hold you. I got you. She just, Eve looks like she is going to be on the run any second now. Oh. Well, they don't have legs, so they <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. So, Kathy, this is, I hate to ask, um, but also I want to for everybody watching at home, because this is really fascinating. You actually brought another little critter with you. Yeah, I also have a tarantula, so I'm going to put Eve um, down, because it's hard to multitask. Yeah. Tina, so, you didn't want to hold her? Or? No, I can. Do you want you me wanna, to? Really? You want to touch oh, her? Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Oh, oh no, 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 no. You don't have She's good. Snakes aren't scary. It's a learned phobia that people can overcome. So the more you learn about a creature, mm -hmm. the less scared of them you have to be. Oh. I don't want to say I'm scared. I just like like it over here. Ah. Okay. <laughs> you can appreciate it. Is it you like yeah. this side of the, the bench better? Yeah. <laughs> I, I get that. I absolutely appreciate how awesome these um, creatures are and the good that they do. Bye, and they're from our area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sure. So I have another... Um, You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. Another native species that yes. you would see after dark, especially right now. So this is our desert blonde tarantula. Also and a female. What also a female. Name? Uh, sh her name is Maleficent. Oh. Okay, so it's a big... The strategies for tarantulas, they look big and scary and hairy, but they're really gentle giants. Um, they don't do anything. I've been handling these for at least 25 years. One has never bitten me. So again, the more I've learned about them, the more I know what to expect. Okay. And so, so we were talking, we have these two creatures here, but how many creatures do you think that you guys use during the event? During Creatures of the Night, yeah. we'll have docents out at different animal stations, but then we also have our enclosures. And a lot of the animals, if you went out right now in the middle of the day, they would be sleeping or tired right. or it's too hot. So Saturday night, you would see things that are normally moving, like all the cats would come out. You get to see the wolves running around. Beavers will be swimming. It's a really fun time to see all these animals that right now, they're probably just taking naps. Right. Oh. Well, I like that you kind of broke it down as this could be a date night. This could be something mm -hmm. that we bring our kids to. Yeah. Something for everybody. So Absolutely. Let's really break it down even more. If you had to pick three things, the, mm -hmm. the three best reasons to come visit you guys. To visit the Desert Museum, yeah. one, you're support, uh, supporting a local nonprofit. Very so we're good. right in your backyard and people don't know about it. Also, any time that you interact or get out into nature, it's um, been proven scientifically, it makes you a happier person. Mm. And this is a way to do it when it's not as hot. So that's another great thing. And the third is that you get to see creatures that you wouldn't normally see on your daily basis. So it really makes the weekend pop. I think that's great. So let's kind of go even beyond Saturday. I know we're kind of talking about the reasons why we should come out, but what can somebody expect if they just come to the museum on another time other than the Creatures of the Night? Okay, I, t I tell everybody the museum has something for everybody, even if you're one years old or 100 years old, because we are a zoo, so we have all the live animals that kids love. We are a botanical garden, so if you're really into the plants, it's beautiful out there. We have an art institute, and we have an aquarium. So something for everybody. You get to learn at every stage of your life. I think that's great. And it's really, 
the museum is such a great uh, resource in our mm -hmm. community. You even offer kind of throughout the year school tours and, oh, and bring yeah. in, you know, a, a ton of kids to, mm -hmm. to get to learn about this and, and even get to handle some of these creatures. Yeah, with the education department super busy. I know a lot about that. Yeah. So we have school groups coming out there all the time. We offer classes. You can find them on our website. During the summer, we're really busy with camps and other fun activities as well. So if you have a little one and they're looking to join a club, we have them starting at two years old and we have things for teenagers through 18 as well. And Catherine, I know we were talking about you being uh, a local nonprofit and I want to make sure that we continue for you guys to do uh, all the education that you do and all the fun things that mm -hmm. we can appreciate. How can someone support you? Uh, financial support is really mm -hmm. important, but also if you get the word out, if you could help, you could follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. We're on all of those things, so that always really helps. And you can also make um, donations if you would like to, so you can find all that on the website as well. Well, Catherine, thank you for coming. Maleficent Eve, I know you're uh, <laughs> put away, but thank you guys so much for do coming as well. Do you want to do one well. more thing? We can do a tarantula high five. Tarantula high five? So you put one finger up One like finger? This, and she's going to come give you a high five. <laughs> oh, I did the high five with a tarantula. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, considering uh, spiders and bugs are my thing. Uh, that was super awesome. Well, thank, thank you guys so much for thank having you. us. Thank you. Check that off my bucket list. Creatures <laughs> of the Night will take place this Saturday, July 30th, from 5 to 10 p.m. at the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. For more information, call 883-2702 or log on to desertmuseum.org.